So because we need the unobtainium, let's kill the natives. Ready? These dumb bastards ain't getting the message. Switch in ten years. Fire. So I just put myself in the Navi's shoes and the humans are coming around talking about how powerful they are. And they're like, yeah, like we're bigger and stronger and faster. These humans, you know, eh. But then to feel the power of this tech just destroying your home and just like, it's what? This is what they were talking about? Like, holy sh uh, Can you rephrase the statement, Navi don't wear shoes? Navi don't wear shoes? No, they're barefoot. Navi don't wear shoes. But they don't wear, what? They don't wear shoes. No, they don't. You said you be you can imagine yourself in their shoes, but I they don't they don't they don't wear shoes. Don't. Ah, so so a metaphor is this thing that we use in language. Yep. That doesn't always literally mean exactly what it is. Oh. Okay. So when I said put them in the shoes, put yourself in their shoes, I didn't literally mean it. Oh, you okay, okay. So you want me to wear their like loincloth? All right, I'm down. Yeah, with this heat, oh my gosh, it'd be so hot. Like these alien guys, they're small and tiny and fragile and they can't even breathe my atmosphere. They have this mask on all the time. But then they're like flying up there without any flapping wings. Like what the mm -hmm. f*** is that? And then, and then they like burn my house down. Like I'm, I'm going to take, take some pot shots. I'm going to throw but, my, my poison arrows at them. Mm -hmm. Also, it's not hot right now. See this Navi? He's not in the fire. The f fire is hot, but he is at normal temperature. Okay, so we have these things in literature where we describe it as like a a word f you, dude. <laughs> <laughs> Doesn't feel so good, does it? <laughs> I see. I see what you're saying is technically more right than I said. <laughs> yeah. So I guess it's yeah. bad for them. Yeah. Fine. We had a field of power. Like That's this right. tree for the Navi is like immovable. This incredible structure, and the humans are just like. Beep. Pew, 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 pew. Down. Bup, 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 bup. Yep. Down. This thing took like whatever unknown amount of time to grow and it mm -hmm. supports my entire civilization. And these guys threw a little little balls at it and it popped and it died. It died. Like Gosh, so, you, that's the time to surrender. Like you clearly cannot win. These it's aliens. The yeah. It's time to pivot to some other method of dealing with the humans. Because mm. you can't just be like, well, fight! Like, you're, head to head. You, nope. you're, you're just going to lose. It's just as simple as that. The humans have a lot of power, and you do not. Time to pivot. They got the tech. <sighs> power is power sometimes. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And this is power. These dumb bastards ain't getting the message. Switch in 10 years. Fire. Brutal. Should have gone to the library and started engineering. <laughs> That's right. And then these guys, these guys are back in the control room watching it. It's interesting seeing their reactions. They've just done an atrocity. Corporate they, guy? Yeah. He's like, whatever. Yeah, just blank face. Just like, blank okay, face. fire. Yeah. Like, I don't feel it. I'm not even excited. I'm just, right. okay. I just, there's a, I want the unobtainium. What's mm -hmm. the problem? This guy is like, what? I'm. He's pondering it. He's seeing it. He's, he's yeah. like, I'm a bad he's, person. He's shocked, yeah. This woman is just crying. She's feeling it. She's feeling it like all these mm. people are dying. I mean. <laughs> That's right. <laughs> She's emotionally compromised. Bad leadership. <laughs> That's right. She's like, it's an atrocity. I'm just going to make it about myself and break down. Mm -hmm. and I'm going to experience these feelings that other people are dying. It's yeah. about me feeling it. This woman, she's like... When's my break? She's like, when's this break? Is this messing up the phase lock? It's messing up the phase lock. Yep, yeah, that's right. This guy, I think he's processing. He's got a little smirk on. I think he's coasting. I think he's been quietly quitting for many years. And he's just dialed uh -huh. in the smile. Don't cause any problems. Don't mm -hmm. rock any boats. Like, I don't want to get sent back to Earth. My mm -hmm. life sucked back there. Just dial it. I don't think I'm going to stop shaving. No one's going to fire mm -hmm. me for that. Yeah, okay. So he's just giving up. But he still he's wants like, a paycheck. Pretty lights, whatever. I'm just here in the room anyway. And then this woman is like, it's nap time. Mm -hmm. I hope no one notices my drug addiction. That's my story for her. Another day, another atrocity. 
Yeah. Another paycheck. Yeah. Another hit of drugs. I wonder yeah. though. I mean, honestly, there there probably is some type of black market going on in here, of like goods I mean, shuttled from the from America and from from Earth. From America. Yeah. I mean, uh, how could there not be? Because you know, probably supplies are limited, so people can pull strings and get luxury goods. Yeah. Why not? Heck yeah. Drugs might be hard though, but there might be a drug trade. I mean, we got a bunch of jarheads coming. Yeah. I mean, whatever it takes for me to not feel any feelings for watching this atrocity happening. That's a good point. Feeling numbers. Oof. Yeah. Brutal. And this, this is a military guy. Um, he's planning the next atrocity. <laughs> That's right. That's exactly what's happening. <laughs> Everybody is on board for some reason. They're like, yeah, let's go get them. So here's like Oof. the thermal output of the Navi. But I guess are mm -hmm. warm-blooded. And we pretty sure they're warm-blooded because this is what looks like thermal. Mm. And we're sitting in the yellow region. Everything else is blue or black. So mm -hmm. That's low temperature. So they must mm -hmm. be warm-blooded. Um, yeah, so they're going to... And this is the attack on that uh, tree of souls. Mm. That's what they're looking at. It's just so overwhelming power because they have satellites and humans have satellites in orbit and they can just look down at the tree of souls. Oh, what are you guys and, doing there? Well, you're gathering. I can see it happening. I, I can see it happening. Yeah. And then I can also plan my attack probably better than you can because I can get a bird's eye view of the situation. And I haven't even been there. So, That's right. It's just... And... Yeah, and and it just it just... You can use a camera to measure exact distances. There's no like, for I mean, for the Navi to measure distances, it must be quite difficult because you never get like a straight road. You mm -hmm. always are thinking like, well, it's up and down and Z okay. and kind of, right. like you can't take a direct path. You have to like walk around right. this weird thing. Like, mm -hmm. So their mental picture may be actually, the Navi's mental picture may be different than reality in terms, right. like it's I mean, actually very, very effective at navigating. Very right. effective. Yeah. But also like, maybe not an objective just here's an image like that's right so yeah very cool gosh and you can never move in secrecy like from from the navi's perspective they did not see any human or any avatar there at all but then right. like humans knew we were here like what that's right and in fact it looks like we can see individuals or at least little clusters of a few right there's supposed right. to be two thousand people here mm -hmm. which also does not seem like much of an army that's right. So I, I can make out where the Navi are mm -hmm. on a, you know, per person or maybe per cluster tactical basis. Which means basis. They, can, they can't really even ambush me because I know where they are. That's right. Oof. It's just overwhelming power compared yeah. to the Navi. I hope there are no aliens because <laughs> if they float in and they can do all this to us, like, mm, yeah, mm, we'd, be, mm. we'd be screwed. Mm -hmm. Weird thing is everybody's on board. So... Oh, yeah. When we were teenagers, the Iraq war was happening. And the language of the Iraq war was unique to the time period. And then it's used in this scene, which was super weird. Our only security lies in preemptive attack. We will fight. So our only security lies in preemptive attack. Preemptive attack, I remember, was the language that was used in the Iraq war back in like 20, 2003. Like, we've got to yeah. attack, preemptive strike. It we was to go it. in to get weapons of mass destruction before mm -hmm. they could be used against us. That's right. So we've got to preemptively strike. Mm -hmm. But like in Avatar, <laughs> like preemptive strike what? We we attack the Navi. Oh, oh yeah. So so it was, is it was the... So what the colonel said, it was like, there are 200 people here two days ago. And now there are 2,000 people here today. The next week, there could be 20,000. <laughs> like, so you speculated a threat, and then you needed to react against it. <laughs> like, 2,000 might be all there are on the planet. Like, but there could be 20,000. We need to attack. But then who caused the... Re who gave the Navi the reason to accumulate, like, to come together into a warrior group? We that, did. The colonel, the colonel specifically was the one that's like, fire. <laughs> he yeah. caused the problem and then was like oh my gosh we need a preemptive strike but you already did preemptive strike i mean you can't punch a person and then when they go to punch back i can't be like preemptive strike like no no <laughs> <That's> just... <laughs> they, they, they didn't even go back to punch back they just took their hands out of their pockets <laughs> whoa, whoa, whoa. like oh, preemptive strike <laughs> yeah and then you're telling it to the cops later and you're like well he was gonna punch me so i preemptively struck him 
And but you attacked first. Well, you attacked first. <laughs> <laughs> okay, let's continue. Fight terror with terror. Yeah, let's listen. Fight terror with terror. We'll fight terror with terror. But the, oh, the but you, you caused the terror. You just firebombed their tree. Who's the terrorist? What? Like, <laughs> they're, well, they're they're terrorizing me because they're amassing together. There could be twenty thousand people mm. by the next week. That's terrifying to me. But I terrorized them by burning them out of their home. Right. We went to their home, burned the whole thing down, killed a bunch of them. They didn't kill any of us. Not one. That's their terror. They're, They're bad. The shuttle as a bomber it's for some kind of shock and awe campaign. Our only... So in the lead up to the Iraq war and during it, we were saying we would bomb the Iraqis in a shock and awe campaign. Mm hmm. Okay, first off, this is just pulled straight from the Iraq War verbiage of the time. Yeah, the emotions are still strong when hearing those words. Yeah, it still, it still triggers me up. Mm -hmm. But also, it's inappropriate for this. Like, yeah. shock yeah. and awe, like one bombing run is not a shock and awe campaign. <laughs> And, I mean, I mean, yeah, yeah, yeah. So, so it made, the words made sense at the time, felt very good, very, very strong, made mm -hmm. sense a lot in this movie. But actually, like, 20 years later, like, shock and awe, you already destroyed their only home that they've ever had. <laughs> what, what more shock and awe do you need? Yeah, that's right. One more bombing run. Shock and awe. Shock and awe. We've already crippled their society. Shock and awe campaign. <laughs> like, <laughs> it just doesn't work. <laughs> it doesn't make sense anymore, yeah. It doesn't make sense anymore. So he's saying, like, the, the military leader guy um, is just, what is his name? His name is, his name is the Colonel, Colonel Miles Quaritch, Quaritch? Sure, okay. Quaritch. Sure. So the Colonel is kind of just saying words that triggers emotions in the crowd so that they got on board, uh, but it's yeah. actually not mapping onto reality kind of at all. But but it works like he gets everyone on board like yep. he instills them in this emotional need like we need to, we need to strike we need to go everyone get a gun that's right and then yeah let's listen one more time our only security lies in preemptive attack <laughs> we will fight terror with terror yep. they're rigging the shuttle as a bomber it's for some kind of shock and awe campaign like our only security like you could just leave them alone <laughs> like, just like, leave them alone yeah. it's not your only security you got options <laughs> you do have options it's and then the the crowd like this guy is like he's yes he's laser he's dialed in he's dialed in he's the guy next to him like people. checks with them to see like you you dialed in okay me too me too i'm dialed I'm in. dialed in i'm dialed in let's go kill some people let's go kill some people get some get some 